And you can use this cutter for bass, trout, just about anything. Trout and most other fish are known for their spotted appearance. And then lift up, and you have very subtle scale techs, uh, technique underneath. Very subtle. And we're going to focus on the fish. Rainbow trout are a series of colors. We're going to start by identifying where the mouth belongs, where the mouth should be. And then we'll add the pink, green, and yellow all simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we have all of our bags cut and prepped to go. And using some full strength green, I'm going to outline the mouth of this fish. And then pipe a little bit of pink on the interior and white on the outer section. strength. Pipe a couple of lines for the fins. And you can use this cutter for bass, trout, just about anything. We're intentionally leaving lots of texture in these lines. Switching back to our flood consistency. I'm gonna do one fish at a time. And we're gonna start with green near the top, and then a band, a little band of yellow, pink, yellow, and then white. I know that sounded like a lot. Let me just work through it real quick. Curving around the fish cookie cutter. And there's a little bit of green. Shimmy and shake that cookie to get all the colors to blend together. Some accent piping in white right around that mouth line. Create a full strength drop for the eyeball. And 
and insert either a sprinkle or you can use uh, a black non-pareil or you can paint it black later. We're gonna do the same thing with the other fish. Let's move him aside for the moment. This time I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Starting with the green color. Working my way all the way around the body of that fish. A row of yellow. a little stripe of green. That should have been full strength, so we're going to switch over here to full strength. Create our eye cavity. A pair of tweezers and a black nonpareil. We're going to over outline with white right here along the mouth. And we have the beginnings of a couple of fish. All right, I need to let these dry just a little bit before I move on to airbrushing and putting cool details on this set of fish. Trout and most other fish are known for their spotted appearance. And we can do that by using a little bit of brown food coloring. This is liquid food coloring. And a stiff bristle brush. And dipping that brush into that liquid food coloring, we can flick that food coloring right onto our surface. And it's fairly controlled. I'm gonna let these dry just a little bit before I try to put any luster or pearl dust on them. Our final step in this process is to create the scales on our fish. And I have a stencil, a scale stencil inside of a stencil frame. We're gonna let it rest directly on the fish. And I have, you can use an airbrush, you can use can brush, but I'm going to use a little bit of luster dust in a dry pump. So when I pump, that luster dust will coat my icing. I'm gonna make sure I have good surface contact without pressing down, because that icing is still a little wet on the inside. I don't want it to collapse on me. And I'm just going to give this a little luster spritz, especially around the tail, where I can make it really noticeable. And right along the green. And then lift up. And you have very subtle scale techs, uh, technique underneath. Very subtle. So one more time. We're gonna place our stencil down directly onto our fish. Nice tight contact. And then spraying straight down with the pearl luster dust. And lift for a very subtle scale texture.
and that's it.